My milkshake brings all the balls to the yard. Died. What is up, everybody? This is Recap Rewind. I'm Jay Lag, and I'm here with NB. And we are recapping Riverdale chapter 15, guys. Uh, we're just going right into it's it. It's called Nighthawks, but wait, why was it called Nighthawks again? I don't know. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, I was like trying to figure it out. Is it like the um? I don't know. There's, there's <laughs> I don't no know. Connection. Is the motorcycle maybe named? <laughs> I don't know. The serpents? He didn't even ride his motorcycle all episode. Yeah, Juggy put it away. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so we start off with a very mini version of what Jughead normally does with his like long rant yeah. story. He's just like, something happened to Pop's Diner. Yeah. And then it shows Pop's Diner. Yeah. And uh, first of all, forget this murderer that's running around. Who is the American vandal that's running around like, like spray, spray painting, painting people's everything. places? Like, First, we had in first season, oh, in season one, we had somebody vandalizing Betty's lo locker. Yeah. We never found out who freaking did Ethel. that stuff. Probably Ethel Marks. <laughs> <laughs> and then now it's uh, someone spray painted Death Diner. And it was funny because <laughs> in the episode, so dramatic. in the episode, he says, did you got, or I think it's Pop saying it to Jughead. He's like, did you see what they wrote out there? And I'm like, no, I didn't actually. I didn't oh, pay, you I didn't didn't pay attention. Yeah, yeah, so I had yeah, to yeah, go yeah. backwards. I'm like, actually, yeah, I didn't yeah, see I it. Totally, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. So that was pretty funny. I mean, funny and dark, whatever. But it's basically just kind of showing that um, like the diner is Dunzo. Like, yeah. Like the diner is on its last like Dunzo like Which is fair thing. enough. Like I mean someone literally got shot in there. Yeah. So yeah. I get it, but um so the town really doesn't know what to do like with with the diner. So anyways, we leave off the diner. Yeah. And, then and it, I think it cuts to, like Archie and, and he can't make waffles he for, can't, he for can't anything. Make They're like burning the, the, yeah. But also like where's his mom? Cuz yeah. like she was completely if you want to talk about LVP this episode where the <laughs> hell was Molly Ringwald like she she like dipped as soon as her husband like was able to like uh, try his pants like she was like, I'm, I got to go She's like bye Um yeah she she wasn't in the episode at all she's off the payroll again Um I'm not really sure what happened there they didn't even like really have a scene last episode and, and not so. even that like they didn't, he didn't even say like oh my mom's like at work right now or like working from like the library like he didn't they didn't even talk about it <laughs> and these <laughs> these characters just kind of go in and out and it's kind of like okay yeah. but like where were you though like yeah. your husband just like almost got um killed. so it shows archie and he's like drinking an energy drink at like seven o'clock in the morning you know and what the I, dad and is like what's going on with you what i love about this show and even archie in this episode um, you know, with PLL, like, they saw, like, how many people die. Yeah. And they were not even affected by it. It was just, <laughs> yeah. like, the next day at school. Like, yeah. everyone's cool. But Archie is, like, really, like, he's, this like, episode, like, you see it. his trauma. It's and, like, true. he's sketching out. Like, he's making, like, weird decisions. Yeah. So, I'm I'm really glad that they have focused on that part of his, like, yeah. his, the way he's dealing with this all. Because it feels really, like, real, you know? Yeah. Do you think, though, at some points in time he is taking, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I he, think is he is taking, taking it too he far. Is, he is. Um, yes. but, but like he's also like you know 13 years old or whatever like he's 14 or <laughs> he's like grade what nine <laughs> <laughs> guys i keep forgetting the fact that they're supposed to be so young because yeah. i'm like you're so dumb yeah and then he gets a call from the sheriff mm -hmm. and he <laughs> it's like sheriff it was really really funny because i feel like it was just like a very random moment it's almost like he ad-libbed like the lines because he was like oh i gotta take this okay bye and then he like walked <laughs> away and yeah. he like ran up the stairs and i was like but what were you like just say like i gotta yeah, take this like, and like it's, leave it's the sheriff like, yeah <laughs> about your case <laughs> he's like talk to you later see you later like as if he was like leaving the house he just ran yeah. up the stairs um so anyway so he's talking to the sheriff and, the sh and he's basically like harassing him he's like yo i need to find out what like, like where this I, guy I is i will help you guys like <laughs> i have flyers like i can i can help i can pass off flyers i'm yeah. good like i'm really good at this okay and uh yeah obviously it doesn't help <laughs> and then and then it cuts too um and so then it cuts to our girl Miha. And <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like already it's begun. Like every freaking sentence this man starts like Miha, Miha. Oh, and me Why don't you just speak in Spanish? Like, like yeah. just go for it. Like go all the way <laughs> just down. Just through. caption. So we're good. Straight line. Don't worry. Yeah. Look, we'll be good. Okay, so she, so she me. said something like, and I didn't understand what it was. I had to literally Google it, and I still don't know what if it's she right. Say? She says, TTFM Smithers. Yeah, okay, what, is she, what does that mean? <laughs> Apparently, it means ta-ta for me. or Ta-ta for now? Ta-ta for now. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, maybe. Then it's TTFN. 
Tata for now. Tata for me. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Tata for now. Okay, we got it. But I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I was like, these these young kids. Her and lines are the lingo. best. Though. I, I mean, don't she, get she it. She has the best lines for sure. Then he she bumps into her, her dad. Her so daddy. Smithers is like h- trying to be all nice, right? And it's important for the scene because like he's trying to be all like cool and like you know in the middle he's like, oh Veronica, go from the side exit. Like don't right. go from the front. And she's like, why? And then like right then like daddy, daddy comes yeah. through. Sweaty daddy. So like, he's sweaty daddy. That's exactly what I have in my notes. <laughs> sweaty daddy. He's oh, like, no. hello, Miha. He's like, you didn't see me yesterday. He's and she's like, you like, come, you come, you leave before breakfast. You come after dinner. You would never see you. Yeah, and she's like, tbh. <laughs> I don't even want to sit with you guys. I don't want to sit with you. You don't want to sit with, or you guys want to sit with me. I don't want to sit with you. <laughs> you can't sit with me. You can't sit with me. And uh, yeah, she basically breaks it down for him. She's like, I don't want to hang out with you guys. See you later. Like you guys I'm are really shady. Busy. I don't trust what you did. And that's it. That's it. Then it cuts to uh, all the kids back at school. Yeah. Talking at their little, little like, playground or whatever picnic table. Playground. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're all lamenting over the fact that Pop is closing. Pop Steiner is closing. Yeah. And uh, Archie's like, to be honest, I'm not going to go back anytime soon. <laughs> like, my <laughs> dad got like, I'm done with that place. <laughs> and Buddy's like, yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> but like, she doesn't. She died. turns up. She and turns she's up. Like, she's like, this is unacceptable. I feel like when Betty has a new hairstyle, she turns the was, F up. What was her new Betty hairstyle? Betty in a bun. <laughs> Betty in a bun. It was Betty in a bun. <laughs> <laughs> not betty in a black wig now betty is in a bun and i feel like the tightness and like there's no ponytail anymore it's like the tight everything's like tight up there it's like tight. she's like lit she's like i gotta like save this man's she's like, like freaking like, diner blood circulation is not going to my head right now i'm gonna talk <laughs> as much as i can so yeah she's really excited she's like passionate yeah she's like this is where we were all because she has another speech after two she that does. was like even Very more inspiring. lit so <laughs> with with flashbacks <laughs> <laughs> hashtag tbt yeah and uh so then everybody's like yeah i can't do anything about it jughead has to figure out his own yeah. shit with his dad jughead's like i have enough social issues right now i can't she's yeah. like i know i know it's okay and she's like you know what it's I'm okay boo it's okay yeah she's like i'm gonna take the lead on this and then veronica's like me too veronica's w- like i hate going home so i will help you too yeah and so then they're like, yeah, B and V teaming up once again. Yeah, yeah. And then it cuts to they go the to the jail, police station. The police yeah. station. Um, Jack has like, I gotta go see my dad. And Archie's like, okay, cool. I have flyers to give out. <laughs> He's like, I'll come Can with you. Can we really quickly talk about this damn poster and the fact that it says, "Have you seen this man?" And it's literally a man <laughs> in a ski <laughs> mask. <laughs> like there's no like, indicator yeah, i actually have like on the mountain when i was skiing exactly like, i've seen that man or before. I, when i'm wearing a balaclava when i'm like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like at the store or something like you cannot identify no, someone no. wearing a ski mask um uh, anyway. so yeah so jack has like talking to his dad whatever and the dad has like a really shitty like public defender yeah and like fp and so the public defender's like you got only like one option you gotta like say that like you did this da, 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 da. um honestly yeah. honestly in all of this i'm like but this man still like threw a kid's body in the river though like it is true like he still did something really messed up however we do understand why he did it yeah he's a of he's course a we understand why but he still did it like that's yeah. a pretty big like like charge but he was like strong held into doing it you know what i mean like he had I know, to do but it like it was I don't know. It's just like you I, know what? If if they were like, oh my god, FP burned the car and like something, I'm like, okay, yeah. Like it was just like a little thing that like he did. Right. Like he's he's sorry about. Right. No, like he legit took a dead body and like dumped it in the river though. Like it's pretty like it's pretty major. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, he may he may not <laughs> yeah. deserve twenty years, but like to go back on parole and like not have any time served, like okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like like I was just like I don't know. It, it kind of sounded weird. Realist- I'm like, at the end of the t- day, I'm like thinking I'm like he still did something really messed up. Like this guy's not yeah, innocent. That's true. As much as I want him to be out and like hooking up with Alice Cooper, <laughs> it's just you know like still so I'm like this guy done messed up. Yeah. Uh, I guess they just want Skeet Oliver to be a yeah, regular again. Yeah, that's they just want him to come out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because Alice is lonely. Um, and it does. There is a little quick scene. Oh, still since we were still in the police department mm-hmm. with uh, the sheriff and Archie, yeah. and he's like, "Please, I need help." <laughs> he's like, I need to do something. He's like, "I can drive with you guys. I can let you guys know whatever you guys want me to do. Like, I can hold a gun, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Like, I'm not really sure what I can do." Um, and then at one point in time, there is a shout out to Greendale. Yeah. So before we continue. I was right. Greendale is where Sabrina the Teenage Witch okay. is from. So she's from the lore of that. So I'm sure they're going to make the connection, if not by the end of this season, then by the next right. season. And then it cuts back to Archie at home. 
and he's just like chilling and he's like still awake and he still has his bat and he can't sleep or whatever and Jughead for the dumbest reason ever like I don't hears, even know why yeah. he like comes why does everybody come through the back like, door and they lurk like why they are you lurk. lurking when there's literally a murderer like on the loose right, right. now like just curfew hello yeah um so they uh, so like, he, like, the knock on the door or something so he like, comes for Jug and he almost kills him basically and then he finds out from Jughead that um FP could be uh, facing up to like, 20 yeah, years yeah. in jail so he has like an emotional moment yeah and then he's like I'm scared. And then Archie's like, me too. <laughs> and then he's like, what are you scared of? And then he like looks out the window and he's like freaking out. Sees, like, he's glitching killer. out yeah, because yeah. he's sleepy and stuff. So then it cuts to the, the credits. It cuts to Betty. And she's waking up. She's all like fresh and shit. Feeling herself. And uh, she looks over and Archie, she like just looks at Archie's room. And mm-hmm. Archie Like the, the in curtains there. are like open. Like yeah. she hasn't seen him in the days. The bed is like made or whatever. Who knows? And uh, she's like, that's weird. I'm still lurking on the guy like (laughs) I used to love. And instead, she goes and tells Veronica. So I thought that was kind of cool. So cute. Yeah, yeah. So she's looking out for Archie, but she's not being the girlfriend role. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's passing it on to like V to be like, you go solve solve this thing. And V came through. She She like knocked on the door. Like, I don't know how, I don't know where the apartment is in in comparison (laughs) to where she is. But she like shows up with coffee and she was like, Hey, I know that you're not sleeping. So cute. So and, cute. And uh, we need to talk about this stuff. And uh, Veronica gives him some sound advice, which I thought was a great girlfriend moment mm-hmm. for her. And she says, you know, when I was going through some shit, I went to go talk to a therapist. Yeah. And like, I was maybe like, maybe it's a good time to do that. Maybe it's a good time to do it. And uh, so that I thought that was good sound yeah. advice for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And. The, in that moment, I did ask myself, is Archie overdoing it? Is he going a little too much beyond what you think that, you know, you should be going to based on what the trauma that he's been dealing with? And I think the answer that, to that is, what What do you think, first of all? No, I don't think he is. You don't think he's I overdoing it? I think he's a it? kid. Like, he's a kid. He almost saw his dad die in front of him in his arms. Like, right. that's pretty messed up. Like, But staying awake, like, can't you guys get an alarm yeah, system? Yeah, obviously. Like, yeah, that's, that's like... There's other things that you can you do. You can't, but you can't tell someone like what they're doing is wrong like you know because you no. don't know like what, would, what you would do in that situation i mean i wouldn't do that <laughs> i wouldn't I do that i say, think i would get an alarm system sure yeah. fine but i wouldn't stay up all night without sleeping well, you physically can't anyways like you literally can't do but that but i feel like that's long? what he's trying to do he's like red billing himself up for it yeah so i just think it's unhealthy and he should like be doing other things and trying to find smarter ways but right, right. that being said like, well by the end of this episode we see him doing other things so, and like, dumb stuff yeah I think like that's the thing and I think that's what we always have to remember with the show is it's mm-hmm. typical Archie. You always have to like think about like what Archie would do. Archie would do this. Mm-hmm. Archie would stay up all night with a bat and think that he's like saving he's the world. Protect everyone. Yeah. Um, you know, and then he just continues to escalate as it goes yeah. on. Um, but there's that so there's that scene and then it cuts to Jughead talking to the mayor and he's asking if Pop Pop's diner could become a historical landmark. And she's like, yo, I'm not doing that shit. That place just got, someone got shot up mm-hmm. in there. And she's like, I'm not doing that. Sorry. I don't know why they even go up to her and like ask her for favors. I feel like she never comes through for anyone. See, you know except what? Except for herself and I Hermione. I think all these threats and all these little things that are happening with Jughead in this episode is really going to add to what's Ooh, gonna happen to him yeah, in the next chapters good. yeah yeah. because yeah. i think that like he says a few things when he said it i was like oh i was shit. like yo yeah i got like chills he like yeah so she says no and she's and he yells back at her and he says don't remember this or f- don't forget this moment um that the day that you turned your back yeah. on my dad yeah. and on pop's diner yeah and uh she's like damn it was, yeah it was like it was and deep. even betty was like damn this my boo this my boo I love the new Reggie. Uh, yeah, so it cuts to I the love new, him. It's it cuts to the new Reggie. Okay, the what music the that was Reggie? playing during the scene, I gotta find it because it was, it was hot. It was lit. Yeah, yeah. It was lit, lit, lit. Um, I like him. I like him. I think he's really dark though. Like mm-hmm. he's definitely not that we didn't see a lot of him last season. We didn't. We though. we didn't. But like I guess the moments that we did see him, he was like, Ugh, yeah. so like I'm like a jock. This one, he's like a drug dealer. Like a drug dealer. <laughs> he's literally he's a drug like dealer. really like sexual. Yeah. Like he was checking out the girls as he mm-hmm. was like walking. Like, and I feel like he might have a bigger role this season, maybe. So like yeah. they're kind of like bringing in all these other like things for him. Um, 
but yeah so what he talks uh M- he talks M- is it mitch is that her name mitch yeah mitch or mitch yeah moose's girlfriend and uh she says she's like i need drugs do you know about jingle jangle <laughs> and i was like what the fuck is i need jingle drugs jangle? and i was like i don't know what the street names are for things anymore and no because sheriff keller called it that last episode and oh, everyone was making fun of it Oh, okay they're like the that. jingle jangles <laughs> maybe that'll be like a big uh theme in this episode yeah. too like uh the drugs the drugs and so reggie you it is revealed that reggie's a drug dealer and he's like yeah i can spot you and uh then it cuts to kind of like a scene of him and archie and archie's like yeah. staring at the counselor's <laughs> like door yeah, the guy and the counselor. Uh, reggie's like yo you're not gonna go to counseling are you fucking loser <laughs> like as if it's bad to go to counseling and uh it's such a typical but it's reggie like he yeah. would say that like <laughs> and i think it's a typical like high school thing to do yeah. right it's like you don't want to show like, your jock. emotions and stuff so you have to be like man up and take drugs yeah, instead so that's basically what he offers him up <laughs> yeah. he's like do you need poppers do you need like, i die though this? i die when he was like he's like it'll, it'll like keep you up in all ways, in all I'm ways. like, holy! Like, this show is like getting down. Yeah, like, I was like, what is this drug? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> tell me more. And uh, so he says, like, yeah, I can, I can get you something yeah. that can like help you like stay up. Because Archie's like, I need something to like keep me awake and keep alert. Lit, lit, lit. Um, and then it cuts to um, Betty, and I think they're in like that room, and like she really wants to figure out this figure whole out this whole thing with pop she's like really like turns up so she's with her boy kevin kevin's there veronica veronica uh, is juggy there i don't know no, no and I don't they're just trying to figure there. out like, why do you want to do this yeah and even veronica asks like why do you like, want why to do like you care so much why do you care about this and then she has her big epic speech yeah. and including it was cute Thursdays. it was really yeah. cute like she's, she's like, like i had like i, had like, my I met you there she's yeah like, i had my summer things with Archie there. She's yeah. like, I met Jughead there. My grilled cheese. Like, there's all these, like, and it and shows, are, like, their kiss together, like, Juggy and her. Right. Like, it was cute. Really It cute. is a really cute moment. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and I mean, because it is a huge. We didn't need to see that. For the show. We didn't need to see yeah, that. Yeah, of course. But, like, they wanted to, she wanted to, like, implant those memories, I guess, into Veronica. Yeah. <laughs> and then suddenly, out of nowhere, Hiram comes through. Daddy. That's literally what she says. She's like, Daddy? I love how like kevin turns around <laughs> and who else betty was it betty? like daddy, so, like, daddy. <laughs> total throw to like the obsession last season of like daddy of daddy no they pushed the guys yeah, yeah. the script writers are yeah, doing yeah. it on purpose right now okay i'm just gonna say that right now they're doing the daddy stuff too much right now and I, i'm not you know when it's it. too much you know when it's too much when she says it at the end of she what says she it three says. times she said it three she's times like, no, no 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 daddy no 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 daddy yeah. okay like you wouldn't say daddy that many she's times like, but though. daddy she's like i wanted to go back to normal daddy yeah and i'm like but you already much. got to the point yeah, that you yeah. want to say you don't have to say daddy yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of it, it. Was too much. that's like me being like da na 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 and b na 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 and be yeah, like no, no nobody says that and this daddy just doesn't no, no. don't don't do it guys <laughs> cut it out cut don't it out do it cut it out oh, um man. It kills me though and so she's trying to figure it out with her dad she has a conversation with him outside she's and like she dad was, what are you doing here let's go outside it's <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing because he like brought her flowers and shit yeah. it's just like too much high room right yeah, now yeah um and uh yeah she's like i want to trust you but you're freaking shady and shit like you have to you're shady you have to understand where i'm coming i don't trust from. you um but at the same time he was like oh i heard you talking about pops in there with your friends like what's going on can i help like can i give you money she's like, i'll let you know i was like damn veronica is so, so salty and sassy yeah, yeah i love her she's just angry yeah she's an angry child and uh, then it cuts to Jughead talking to a serpent. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, I need some help. My dad needs to run away. <laughs> Can you break him out of jail? <laughs> so like, between- okay, let's steal him. <laughs> when he's all- he's on his way to state prison, let's steal him. <laughs> And then we'll take him. And then Canada's like right there. So Canada, we can like totally cross him over the board. The guy's like, uh, are you like dumb? Yeah. Are you dumb? <laughs> it's like so even funny. that guy was like no no like, i can't do that <laughs> like he's like i'm not that yeah, cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like between archie and jughead they're like taking it way too far too with much can these guys like stop playing video games and calm that down yeah. like what are you trying to do so the, even the serpent had like more sound advice he's like let me find you something proper to do no he do was it. like there's a snake handler and only a snake handler can, can handle d- snake business i'm like okay who is this person <laughs> who like a, le- like a legit snake handler like a like or a, a, a lawyer <laughs> 
okay. lawyer. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's what they meant. Cool. Um, and then it cuts to a little quick scene with the Vixens at mm-hmm. the high school. Mm-hmm. And Veronica and Betty are like, hey, y'all, what's going on? And then she was like, P.S., Am I still the captain of the cheerleaders? <laughs> Veronica was like, wait, wasn't it my cheerleading squad yeah. last season because I beat you at the dance battle? Yeah, and then she gave it up because she was going to kill herself, remember? Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Yeah, so it was just really funny to see her say like, no, it's not yours. It's actually still mine. I would never give it to you. And uh, somehow Josie is a now a vixen, somehow. She didn't even get an audition. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's like I'm in it now. She's like, I'm here now. Yeah. And so they asked for her help and she's like, nah. And then they walk away. They're like, okay, bye. <laughs> what did they ask for again? They asked for their oh, help. Oh, for the, like, performance at to Pops. To perform at Pops. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, hell no. She was like, no. My girls are too good for that. She's like, oh, that's a murder diner now, so we're not <laughs> doing that anymore. And then it cuts to the principal going to Archie's yeah. class. And he's like, yo, Grandy's dead. And so he glitches out, though, because he's like, oh, God, she's dead. And <laughs> he, then, like, walks out of there, like, runs out of the room. Which is fair enough. He, like, literally had an affair with her last season. So, like, I get it. She's dead. And he's like, oh, my God. <laughs> I get it. I, I totally do not do yeah, not see yeah, his perspective. Yeah, he's for really sure. hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's hurting. <laughs> he's hurting. Um, and then Archie talks to his dad about it. And he's like, I don't know. I feel like there's a connection here. Like, don't you understand? Like, I'm freaking out. And at this point in time, like, Archie is like, he's like unraveling. He's like bags under eyes. He hasn't slept in like days. Yeah. And he's making all these weird connections. Um, but I think I would have made the same connection if 100%, I like we did sure, we did course. last episode. Yeah, yeah. So then it cuts to Jughead talking to the lawyer Penny Peabody. Oh, is that her name? Why do they have such weird names? Because they're comic book characters. True, <laughs> That's true. Why. Yeah, so he goes to see her. Yeah, and she's like, "Cool." She's like, um, "He's like, she's like, I can't really do much about it because like right. it's pretty like serious." Yeah, but if you can get like someone from the family that like the, of the kid that was murdered to like say like, what that they what if what does she ask him? She says, "If you if you tell them that, then maybe they'll give him like a, a smaller sentence." To tell them what though, like like for if them to ple- be like, oh, like it was an like, they, or something. No, they have to like forgive. They have to they forgive, forgive him. FP. Okay, yeah, they have to forgive him on oh, the stand. So stupid. And uh, she was like, "Nailed it, lawyer, <laughs> lawyer." Uh, degree came in, yeah. came in handy. <laughs> exactly. And then it was so weird because then Jughead was like, "Do I pay you? Like, what do I do?" And she's like, "She's like, we're friends now." She's like. You do me a favor. Which is exactly what we predicted last week. How we were like, he's going to get into some crazy debt Mm -hmm. with them. And Mm -hmm. then they're going to like, you know, want something from him. Exactly. And I guess it'll start with her. Yeah. At some point. Like Peabody. Peabody asking you for something. And uh, then it cuts to Archie. And she's talking. He's talking to Alice, Mm Miss Cooper. And uh, he's like, can you do any sleuthing on your side to see like where the connection was? Like what happened to Grundy? And then she was like don't worry i'll figure it out for you because she's a super sleuth and um alice, and then he leaves and then alice talks to betty on the side and she was like um why are you like going around trying to help everybody yeah. in the world right now and then she's like you should forget about pops by the way because they're selling it to mm-hmm. an anonymous buyer yeah. and obviously as a viewer we were like anonymous buyer and so was betty and she was like that sounds familiar yeah and uh, she calls, <laughs> she calls she Veronica calls right Veronica, away. Yeah. And uh, Veronica goes and approaches her pop, her mm-hmm. her daddy, and she says, um, "Are you freaking buying <laughs> Pop's diner just like you bought the, you know, the drive-in?" And her dad's like, "We're having dinner. First of all, He's sit like, What's down." What's the problem here? He's like, "Why are you like accusing me of every single thing?" Yeah. She's like, "I know you killed like Fred." <laughs> he's like, "What?" He's like, "No." And so he's like, he's like, yeah. "No, man." He's like, "I obviously didn't." Yeah. Um. And then she's like, "Well, I have this letter." And like, she still had the letter like in her bag. Yeah. She's like, "The letter that you wrote to mom." Yeah. Threatening her. <laughs> and then Hermione's like, "It was me." Like, yeah. She's so. I, I think she's my LVP too because I feel like she's just like lurking on the side right. and she's playing every single side right now. Yeah, like every yeah, single side. Like yeah. I don't trust this B for anything. Right. In that moment, before we find out the twist in the end, in the end what did you think of that whole situation? Um, I thought that she could be lying. Okay. I thought that she could be covering up for him okay. because the way she said it and his face when she said it, he was like, 
like as if he didn't know what she just like, said right yeah it, it <laughs> felt very it. <laughs> like it felt like it came out of nowhere it wasn't like a confession it was almost right. like a cover-up still a cover up. okay um so wow, I wasn't, you booked I wasn't eyeballs, surprised eh? at the, yeah yeah i wasn't surprised at the end at all but first of all what did shady. the letter say i don't remember the, what letter, the letter said, said that um if you do not help like if you do not agree to help your mom or whatever i'm gonna like do something to your mom oh. like i have information on your mom and like she'll go down with me right right right. and right, then that's right. when she was like okay like i'll testify against my dad like i'll help my dad like get out or whatever right because that is what happened yeah um but she was she did say she's like you guys are both freaking shady as yeah <laughs> and it's true it's true it's poor true. veronica for each other poor veronica she she's like stuck in a situation where like both of her parents are like covering for each other none of them are telling her the truth like it's so crazy that like yeah. they they can't just like be honest with her yeah um i mean it's not crazy because they're they're snaky they're but, they're, they're lurkers yeah but i feel bad for her then it cuts to jughead and he's Jughead and Betty, they go to Thornhill and they're talking to Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not Thornhill anymore because they done moved. Oh, they done moved. Yeah. Oh, they okay. got a new house. Remember? He's like, wow, they didn't even downsize. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like it's two like people living in this place. mega mansion. And uh, so, yeah. They, By the way, her mom, when I saw that. I died. When, died. when I saw her, I'm like, Jayla is probably dying right now. Like He's I probably like pissing his pants of laughter. Of laughter. <laughs> Her I wrote face down, was like a tomato. <laughs> I wrote down OMG Cheryl's mom. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. And yeah, I guess she looks crazy. She has like a bandage. Her, her, her on bandages her head. are like squishing her face. <laughs> so her cheeks are like <laughs> Like she just got Botox. Like yeah. she just like it's too much. It's too much like extra like yeah. costuming right now. And <laughs> so yeah, I was I was dying of laughter when I saw that scene. And uh then it yeah basically he's like can you please talk to the judge and say that like, like it was all dad. good yeah and he she's like f no. No. no and the mom was like f no i would rather see your dad burn in hell yeah. it got pretty dark and then the jughead was like i'm defeated now like i don't know what to yeah. do and then they leave and betty's like what do we do next and then he's like i would threaten i would extort i would like use some sort of blackmail but it's literally an orphan and like a, a widow like i'm like not gonna feel do so it to bad them. for them yeah so they leave and they're like okay we're fucked um then it cuts to alice and she's uncovering what happened what happened to uh grundy uh with the autopsy guy mm -hmm. and he's like it was a crime of passion and hatred mm -hmm. um and then it was it was a really weird it was moment. interesting too right because yeah. i said that last week yeah. i was like the fact that he was he strangled her it it sounds like a crime of passion. Like it yeah. sounds very like painful and like he wanted with hate. her to feel it. Um, and so yeah, so that was another thing that they said. Like he he strangled her. Mm -hmm. And then there was a really weird moment. I don't know why I just picked up on it, but she says he says to her, "Yeah, did you know the victim?" Yeah, and she's like, "No." Nope. Yeah, she like stopped. But she, there was she, like, a quick she, pause. She, she waited. Like a, and I was like, "What are you? Why? Like, why are you lying about this?" So I don't yeah, get it. Or maybe she was. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't get. It. Yeah, so I maybe there too. Was, I was like, huh? maybe there's a little extra little piece yeah. to that. We'll see. And then it cuts to uh, Archie still like doing his midnight society watch at home, mm -hmm. and uh, he has like a, he glitches out, and then he actually sees a person in a ski mask in the backyard, mm -hmm. and so he like chases after him yeah they be, like they fight and they, they like beat him down but it's reggie and it's reggie and i was like are you <laughs> fucking serious right now are you serious right now this is the like, this is the why? time this she's like time. well why are you wearing a ski mask right. and also like, like that'd be funny like also like what happened to his bat he could have beat his like legs yeah. down you know like yeah. where did your back go um anyway that is what he says reggie's like yeah, were you, like, you were you just gonna tackle him yeah and like, he's like yeah I'm he's like, like, you need a gun. He's like, this guy has a gun. Are you crazy? You need to up your game. And uh, there was that. So there was that scene. But does he get the drugs? I'm assuming he's getting the drugs. Yeah. I think that's or why he, he doesn't give over. him the drugs. Why? Because he's like, you're so tweaked out. Like, I'm not even going to give oh, you. Oh, is that what he says? I think he says he's like, you obviously don't need anything right now because like, you're so turned up. Oh. So I don't think he ever does okay. like, an I was like, exchange. when does he give the actual drugs to him? Or maybe he still does. Maybe. I don't know. But um, my assumption at that point in time was that he he was like yo you're crazy you don't need that right now um and then uh it cuts to alice and archie talking about like what she had found out yeah and uh she's like he she may have known the killer because there was no force entry and then it turns out that he she found out who what the like the murder weapon Essentially, was she's like they're not connected like your dad's shooting shooting in this one wasn't connected yeah 
Because, like, Grundy seems like it must have been, like, her ex or whatever, you know? Right. But, and then he's, like, he was killed with the cello bow. Yeah. And then. Yo, it's crazy because, like, last week when we were talking. Yeah. And remember how we were, like, Trying why, figure, like, what why was. was she bleeding? Like, why was, she, why was there blood? Right. And right away I'm, like. It, maybe it was like the string of the of the ch- of the thing because yeah. I'm like what else would cu- like cut through the neck a piece yeah. of wood wouldn't like cut your neck right I'm like yeah. what if it was like her ch- her cello string like that oh cut in gosh. her skin True. sure enough it freaking was and it was the one that he gave that her. he gave her I don't know if that's gonna really matter maybe I no. feel like it was too cheesy but yeah. like who knows but whatever. he's but yeah, he's so mentally making the connection he's like oh he's my making god the I gave that to her yeah, yeah. she's like now she's dead because of me yeah um so he's like this is not helping the situation yeah. I don't think at all um then it cuts to pop's diner and pop i'm sorry he's so depressed all this freaking <laughs> whole episode like done with he's life. like he's like i'm really sick. he's like i thought i'd be doing this until the day i die and i'm like yo <laughs> you like are the darkest person why did person you give right up now. bro you just gave up on everything you're so depressing and they're like don't worry don't give up on this place but we're gonna like, don't you dare give up i'm gonna find out what to he's do like, don't here. sign that freaking contract yeah we'll he's, he was like out. i sold it already like i'm selling yeah. it so. and it does turn out that it wasn't hiram no. it was like uh like some alcohol board yeah. like some lcbo or some shit look bo yeah and uh then it cuts to oh one of my favorite scenes actually mm-hmm. um is cheryl t- <gasps> i knew you were gonna Betty love this scene to i knew you were gonna love this scene because <laughs> I, like, I was yes, like why yes, though yes, yes, like yes, why yes, is yes. she half naked right now oh my gosh. why is she alone in this locker room yeah. where's everyone else like it yeah. was just like why though and so Bell- the camera angles were like so weird the last shot was like in her boob like in her boob <laughs> yeah i'm like what are they doing and like why does she have a red light coming out of her oh locker what the hell it it's like red light district also like locker. how does she have two lockers like one in the change room one outside <laughs> in the hallway yeah yeah it's like a gym okay. um but she basically rolls up to cheryl and she's like you want closure bitch you want closure <laughs> i but she blackmails I'll, her. she's like i'll give you closure <laughs> if you do a b yeah. c and d she's like i still have the footage of like jason's like murder she's like i'll give it to you the last copy the last version if it was you- twisted girl yeah, i was like was damn yeah, yeah. betty you she were- had to get dirty though i was like shit you just got some dirt she's like you don't want that to go out to the internet do you i was like oh wow she's like crazy right now and then it was cool because at the very end of it even though cheryl is being threatened she turns around and she bitch recognizes bitch and she was yeah. like you are a stone cold bitch betty cooper and then she like lets her walk away yeah. and i was like damn i was like i love this kind of betty she's kind of cool too um and then it cuts to jughead and veronica so yeah they have a cute moment like veronica and juggy and they're just like she's like how did you like forgive your dad like after all the shit that he did to you and juggy's like honestly like he changed like he j- he was a different person so mm-hmm. he's like obviously i'm gonna like you know yeah um like roll with it or whatever and she's like cool but so and he does like make a good point because i don't think she would have gone there on her own she's like he's like listen my dad's gonna go to jail for 20 years mm-hmm. uh you know archie's dad just got shot he's like yeah. your dad is at least like trying like a have, percentage like, a daddy, yeah like at least you have a daddy so yeah like, it's true she was like, it's true. true 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 um then it cuts to archie and the sheriff and he like once again like freaks out and he's like yo i have some more information it's granny's ex and he's like it's no he's yeah. like we actually like like brought him we in and, and he like he like, has a tight like alibi that it's not tight. him for sure yeah um so there goes that theory yeah right out the window like i have no idea who it is now now i have no clue um and then it cuts to cheryl testifying for fp yeah and i was like damn that's really cool and she like she comes through she came through she came through because even what she said the judge was like it's still not enough mm-hmm. so she like panics and she like makes up a complete lie yeah because like because like, <laughs> betty's like looking yeah. at her she's like with a little raised eyebrow she's like oh, okay <laughs> you better, come through, you better ho. come through ho and she does and she was like daddy was threatening him yeah and then he's like okay i guess he's that's like, like, oh, okay true. he's, he's like, like dismissed we're gonna have to look at the case again. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's free now <laughs> <laughs> not really but he's like he's yeah. like there's a delay now yeah and then it cuts the like full the rest of it is a full diner like scene. a pop so cute pop, pops diner retro night and alice shows up Dude, first alice and foremost is my friggin hero okay like she's my friggin hero her. she walks in 
She's like, Betty, you're useless. She like sits down. <laughs> she sits down like, like one of the I'm gonna booths. quote. Let me pull out my laptop. I'm she gonna bring her my notes MacBook out. And she starts like typing away. But like she's typing and like she's like lurking on people. And yeah. like as people are walking in, like literally people are like they're cutting to like characters walking in. Yeah. She's like snapping photos <laughs> on her phone. <laughs> she got Snapchat on that shit. That's what she's doing. Oh, man. She killed me. She was so drunk. I love her. And then so Betty does roll up to the Vixens. The Vixens show up and they're like, uh, the Vic no not the vixens cheryl and the pussycats come through yeah. and they're like why did you tell everybody that we were why gonna, did like, you post perform? on social media and uh and betty's like uh well i didn't know i didn't think that I, if i asked you you'd say savage. yes so she's just she's turning she's up so she doesn't savage. care she's just like going and doing whatever she wants to do so she can get shit done and then we find out that Valerie has a neurovirus. Yeah, I was like, what a what a random thing to say. What a random thing to say. You right? couldn't say like she's traveling. Did like, you book that? Yes. I was like, what the hell? wrote it down. I was like, yeah. Valerie has a neurovirus. That's like, really what? like, is she a zombie? <laughs> like, what's gonna happen? She's gonna become a zombie. Um, and then they, so they're like, okay, fine, we'll perform. And Cheryl's like, I'll help too, because she wants to help, yeah. I guess, now. She's like, only if it's a cover of a song, because I don't know the words to anything else. And it is. It sure is. Best moment ever. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than They're literally pops. on top of Pops, like on top of the freaking diner, yeah. dancing and performing to the whole crowd that's like in the like road yeah. area of Pops. Oh my God, it was the best. It was so It funny. was a cute like cover too, like the way they did it. It was so extra because I remember when I saw it on the promo, I'm like, why are they at the top of the Pops <laughs> diner? How do they get up there? Like, Where is, are the speakers? Is the like, roof safe? Mics on? Like, like, I don't <laughs> <laughs> okay. The logistics. I need to know the logistics. And uh, then it cuts to Archie in the crowd and he's like starting to have he's crazy out. flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's like, I, sh- I don't think he should have been there. To, no, to be honest. and like it's his first time coming back, right? Yeah, to Pops. I think they're pulling him in for that reason, like the fact that it's like this big celebration and stuff. But I don't think he should have been there. Yeah. It was like way too soon. Yeah, and he, uh, yeah, he glitches out. He opens up the door, and Veronica just can't drop the daddy thing because then she calls him Daddy O. Yeah, she I calls was like, it Archie Daddy O. Oh <laughs> I was like, God. girl, you need to drop this shit right now. <laughs> like the script writers, stop putting they're, daddy. They're in having every fun with possible. it for sure. Ridiculous. She's like, hey there, Daddy O, and he's like, okay, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> and so he sits down, and then her parents show up. Mm-hmm. Hiram and Hermione come through and they're basically like, hey, we just want to like show some support. And she was like, you know what? I got to thinking I'm going to give you another chance. Yeah. Parents. Yeah. <laughs> like parents. my two parents that I live under your household. I'll yeah. give you a chance. Yeah. And uh, they're like, thanks. Thanks, girl. Dad and daddy's like, do you want more money? He's like, do you need money for pops? She's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> And he's like, so you can make a donation. He's like, I'm going to pay for like probably 50% of this place. <laughs> so it'll be mine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then she's like, cool. Bye. She's like, okay, daddy. And then it cuts to Alice and she's fully lurk mode. And the she's, best. Uh, the best. so the, the, the serpents come through the door and they're like looking around and she's like, she's like snap, full snap, snap, camera. Snap. Like, I'm surprised there wasn't a flash on the camera. Just being like, flash, like, flash, flash. flash. No one's here. <laughs> she's literally taking, and she's like the front booth. And her glasses too. Like, yeah, she, she's at the front booth too. <laughs> she's not in the back they corner. Could, they could have put her in the back at least and yeah. make it more like, yeah, like lurk level. No. no. And like, even she's at like, the door, guys, like, like she's right at the yeah, door. At that point, like the serpents photos. should be like, just like cheesing and like saying hi yeah. and whatever. It was just really <laughs> funny. And then, so Cheryl comes up to Betty and Jughead and she gets the flash drive. Yeah. And she was like, just so you know, you're a bitch. And then she was like, thanks though. Thanks for taking this. And they're like, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you for yeah. doing all the things that you've done for us <laughs> while we were blackmailing you. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. Um, But the thing that I really, um, because she does say, like, I basically perjured myself for you guys, so you better, like, you know, understand, like, how intense that was. But he was threatening him. Like, that's why, yeah. Like, that's the one thing that I was like, okay, but yeah, maybe you didn't know that, like, like that your dad was threatening FP, but he was threatening him. Yeah. But maybe Jughead doesn't know that either, I don't think. Maybe not. Because I think that was information that FP, because FP took it all. He wasn't like, yeah, it was because I did it because of you and, like, to make Jughead feel guilty. So I guess that is still, like, technically, technically, it's not, it is true. Yeah. Um, and then Alice, still lurking, finds out that Reggie is a drug dealer. <laughs> and she's like, drug yeah, deals, she's drug deals. She's, like, she's like writing down all the notes and stuff. She's such a super sleuth. And then it cuts to our devil children in the corner, Hiram and Hermione, mm-hmm. just like scheming. And they're like, 
well looks like <laughs> i own the like, diner she's like why would you ever buy this uh, what are we charity now he's like hey, 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 i own it now <laughs> she goes hey, 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 hey. like they're just like they're just like evil like giggling to themselves in this damn like diner like like who yeah. could be more evil right now totally and then you also find out that hermione did lie she, she lied yeah uh to veronica and she didn't write the letter Hiram Her, actually did write the letter yeah and he was like thank you He's for like, taking the girl. bullet for that <laughs> you're super loyal little does he know that she was doing stuff with fred i think he knows already oh he does yeah sure. i feel like he knows he knows that <laughs> right right <laughs> right <laughs> uh then it cuts to archie and they're all kind of just sitting in a in a thing in a in a in a thing in a thing in a booth and they're having like their little like it was cute because like archie was like should i go like talk to your dad to veronica right because like he hasn't met him yet right yeah she's like no you're done now for tonight she's like just like just you slayed enough dragons for one night yeah (laughs) kali (laughs) c and uh yeah so they're just chilling and then it cuts to a random shot and i didn't know who it was at that moment yeah but me it was too. Dilton. i was like why are they focusing on this idiot yeah who this guy this? in the corner so he was like waiting at uh, like on a car in the like in yeah the, in the parking lot and uh so it's just like there was that shot randomly and then it cuts to cheryl and her mom and she was like, like watching the watch video. the video it'll like give you closure so i guess like the mom never saw yeah the video. she never saw it um and then we get a cut to um the the hotel the yes the so, so they come back the lodges come back and this time you see that there's a new um like doorman yeah and it's not smithers, smithers anymore smithers gone. and ron goes like wait where's smithers and the dad like has a has like a quick story like, like right oh, he quick. Was sick. he's like his mom got sick he left he's like like gone right and, and she's like, huh? Like she sketches out, but like she doesn't. She like, sketches say out, but then she was like, now I have to trust my family because I just said yeah, yesterday, yeah, yeah. last night, that I'm gonna trust yeah. them. So she's like, oh, okay, I yeah. guess it's weird, but I'm gonna just like keep going. Just like go with it and see what happens. And then uh, it cuts to Jughead getting a phone call from his dad. <laughs> he's yeah. like, he's like, did you see Pete? <laughs> did you see Penny Peabody? He's like, what did you do? What did you say to her? Like, how did you get? Like, how did that get involved? He's like, I had to talk to her because like you were in fucking jail and like no one was gonna help me. And he was like, did you pay her? And then she was like, he was like, no, he's like, I'll give her a favor or whatever. So at some point in time, and he's like, he gets really pissed. And he's like, um, don't ever do that. Like, don't ever talk to her. Like, if she ever tries to contact anything, you, yeah. like, don't ever like connect with her. She's like a snake charmer. Yeah. And and then he just hangs up on him. And then Jughead's like, hello? Like, what? what does that mean? <laughs> he's like, dad? <laughs> he's like, did you just hang up on me? Like, I don't think that he was like running out of minutes, like in jail. <laughs> yeah. He just like, didn't want to give him all the information. Yeah, it was just more dramatic that way. <laughs> it was way more dramatic. So I guess we're going to have to figure out why Penny is like evil. Yeah. Um, because obviously FP doesn't trust her. Yeah. Then it cuts to. Um, Alice mm-hmm. talking to Betty and she was like, well, the diner is saved now. Um, but also I hope you realize that uh, there are all these people. There was like 10 drug transactions in there. There were like drug, dealers. drug dealer. The serpents are here. The serpents are here. So she's like, you made a connection. She's like, the cr- criminal levels are going to go super, yeah, super like she, high. She's like, basically like, you brought all the evils like into Pop Signer. But why, but why is it Betty's fault? It's people's like, fault. She's just rude, man. She's so rude. <laughs> freaking like honestly alice is such she goes a bad from being mom. so funny to like being like so savage but it's because she's just like she doesn't care she's just like doing her own thing i feel like she's like she's like a high school kid but in like a, yeah, in a full yeah, grown yeah, woman's yeah. body yeah, like yeah. she should be a teenager right yeah, now because totally. like the way she acts is so funny and then it cuts to archie getting a gun from dilton so from that's dilton, why dilton yeah. was there he by the way is obviously like from season one he was mm-hmm. the one that heard the gunshot because he was like boy scouting yeah. and shooting guns too um and uh so not a good thing that not archie, a good thing. archie has a gun right now because uh gun violence guys hello don't, yeah. don't do it yeah and oh my god biggest moment of the entire episode in my opinion was uh this final scene where i love the way they shot it yeah the music was and really even the good. narration where jughead was like he was like that was the least of his concerns is like trying to figure out if he can like stay yeah. safe he's like he's gonna wake up to another nightmare yeah Poor Archie. why did you think about that so basically midge and moose are like making out like in yeah, their car by the river mm-hmm. and then all they take of their sudden, drugs they take don't the forget drugs. the jingle jangle yeah <laughs> they like pour it down yeah looks like fun and then <laughs> drugs aren't fun though but it looks like fun <laughs> and then the killer comes around the corner and like shoots them like fucking through the window. Yeah, I was like, oh, 
Holy shit. Do you think they both died? I feel like maybe Mitch will be still alive. I, I almost, she yeah, was like on the other she was side. far. I almost feel like the guy died, like Moose died. And I feel like maybe she got shot, but she'll like be a, like she'll be a witness. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's because then she can be like, he just came for us. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was crazy though. Because I guess I want to pull in like her character because yeah. I think she was a new introduced character Yeah, she this was. Season. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't think that it was just going to be like her having a moment of like getting drugs from, yeah. from Reggie. But like, damn, Moose is dead. I know he was honestly Ugh, i think he was, he was so the hottest hot. hottest one yeah yeah he oh, was it's so sad r.i.p moose i guess yeah. that sucks it was pretty violent kill so yeah I'm it was sure very dead. very gruesome like i'm 99 yeah, yeah. sure yeah, yeah. he's dead for sure whether she's dead like i don't think so but he's dead for sure i can't believe riverdale just killed off one of the major characters and, like a kid too yeah. like he's a kid it's intense that's really intense so that's the end of the episode what was your best moment okay my best moment was the killing at the end that was your best that was moment. My best moment. Cause like I think just the way they they introduced it, the mm-hmm. music, the darkness, like the fog, and mm-hmm. like it was just really, really freaking creepy. My favorite moment was at Pop's mm-hmm. Diner because I just thought that it was just like a ridiculous, hilarious mm-hmm. moment. And the I milkshake was like, song. The milkshake yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like really good. them just sitting at the so top good. and like I love that they make fun of themselves, like yeah. the writers, and like just like going off a whole milkshake like thing, like doing yeah. that track was amazing. I just think that like you know the show is so campy and fun to yeah. watch, and like they they are they they realize themselves, they like they know themselves yeah, at this totally. point. So I think they're in a really good groove in terms of like what they want to show their audience and like what people will really enjoy. So it was really like a good fun moment to watch for yeah. sure. Um, your WTF moment. WTF moment for me was when Archie got the gun because i just feel like it's the worst thing he could have done yeah and i feel like it's gonna really uh change like the uh like the fate of his whole character this season too like he's not in the right state of mind to have a gun right now absolutely shit's gonna go like crazy it's and just getting worse and worse it's getting worse and worse yeah, yeah so for sure my what the f moment was definitely with hiram and hermione it was less of a wtf mm-hmm. and more of like an smh moment because i'm just like <laughs> yeah i d- i don't understand why they're doing what always they're doing scheming. right now they're scheming, always like, scheming though. Like, people are being murdered people are being shot and they're just like let's scheme and like take over the town i get it you're a multi-millionaire you just got out of jail and like, like it, you can't shake your own ways but like do you have to do this right now but do i guess what hermione did daughter, like, i guess what hermione did she had to do that right to get hiram out of jail sure but she had to do it some shady sh- i know issues going know. on i'm not, I'm not they're not good people it. least valuable player of this episode. my lvp was pop tate because he literally <laughs> did shit all watch his business like basically like almost like he's like i guess i'm gonna die here now. yeah like he's like i'm dead i'm done now like my business is gone like do something about it how and about then that the, end of the episode he's like thanks guys <laughs> I, uh, thanks for all the money bye <laughs> like, he just he's it. like i'm money now <laughs> Money. He's like, I got cushion money and everything. <laughs> like, thanks for everything, guys. <laughs> he was so he was useless. You're right. He absolutely was. Who was your LVP? LVP? My LVP was uh, the sheriff. Yeah. So I think he's he was, been LVP. He was <laughs> from season one. <laughs> <laughs> he was LVP for you last episode. Dude, so he's so bad at his job. <laughs> go do, go do something. Else. Maybe he should like, be like a mailman. I don't know. Something else. He's no. just he doesn't seem to be like putting enough work in. I don't know. Um, who was your MVP? MVP goes to Alice Cooper. Yes. Because I feel like she's so turnt and cray, but in the best way. And I'm keeping in the Cooper family. My MVP is definitely Betty Evan Betty Cooper. Wig. Betty yeah. in, a, in a high bun. <laughs> in a high bun. <laughs> this week was the high bun for she sure. She killed it. I think she murdered this. Oh, she murdered she it. She murdered it in the best way possible. Yeah, she was, she was awesome. She, she's you know, always been awesome. She, really, but she, she honestly, has. she like turned up even more than yeah. I thought that she could. You know, like coming through for Jughead with blackmailing Cheryl. Yeah. Like the list goes on and, and on like, what she did in this episode. It's one thing to like, you know, turn up and do you. But she also like rallied the troops. Like yeah. she was able to convince everyone like, guys, we need to do this for like the town. Out. Golden I child. Love, I think you love Betty. I think I'm in love with Betty Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, we're doing pop socket giveaways. Hello, free pop socket. Yeah. Um. All you need to do to enter is like, subscribe, um, and comment on this video on YouTube. Yep. And let us know what you would name Jughead's new motorcycle. Mm-hmm. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. That's all you have to do and follow us on Twitter. And then, I recap on his rewind. We will uh, announce the winner before the end of the season. Yeah. That's it, guys. Yes. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.